Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Customs are a massive part of the MCX community. Do you want a Halo Reach custom based on the original concept art from Noble Team? Would you like some goofy cat ears to celebrate probably the most purchased store item in Halo Infinite? Or would you like an old school survivalist lock on the ring of Zeta Halo just trying to struggle for survival over six months? There are so many options for customization and all three of these these are from Flustered MCX on Instagram. He's been doing some insane work, painting some gorgeous figures, and we've been celebrating them for the last few episodes on this channel. One of my favorites is this Arbiter, which is 3D printed by LS3D Printing. And a lot of the things you'll see in these videos are from him. So please do make sure to check him out on Instagram as well as Flustered MCX. There's been so much to unpack on this channel and we've still got two episodes to go. Locke is probably the most relevant to this video. He is basically a Marine turned Spartan and he had his debut in Halo Nightfall, which I actually really enjoyed at the time, and then Halo 5 Guardians. And he seems to be quietly absent in Halo Infinite, but he's got some reinforcements today. Today is a UNSC episode and we got so much to show off. The first thing we're taking a look at is the man, the myth, the legend, Sergeant Avery Johnson. Look at this guy, he looks so good. So this of course comes with a shotgun because he is Sergeant Johnson. And there's a lot of things to talk about here to be honest with you, like this is really well painted by Flustered MCX. Johnson might actually be a figure that has been released the most in Halo Mega Constructs, always in hard to find sets like the series five Halo Heroes, the Shadow Hi High Rocks combo, <laughs> Shadow High Rocks Convoy and the new 20th character pack. He's coming again in the new Elephant Sand Trap, which I imagine will also be a really hard set to find. In this iteration, he's sporting his like Halo 2, Halo 3 style armor. He looks really good. I love the detailed painting on his face. His mustache, lips, and eyes all look really well executed. He's got that great UNSC cap. You know, I'm wondering how that is printed there. This must be the original core because it's got that uh, UNSC logo on, or is that like applied? That has to be uh, an original, but I'm just thinking, I don't know of any Johnson that comes with that green cap, unless this is the Johnson from the 20th character pack. But yeah, you can see a tiny little UNSC there that is painted. So are all of these white detailings on his uh, casings, on his little ammo pouches. You got a little red light here, and on the back, a load of weathering battle damage, even an ammunition pouch there. This is really well executed. Really well executed. 10 hot marines, this is Johnson, and he's calling in some support. One, two, three. Three marines. There's a chance this is a Chips Dupo hat, but I don't think so. I see, I would usually check, but all of my stuff is packed away right now. I'm moving back to England in a couple of days. Flustered MCX, from what I can understand, uh, is a really good master of weathering, of battle damage, and he's also really good at adding little details, little lights, little strips, little uh, emblems. So this is Johnson with three marines. And these marines definitely come with some weapons. We got a sniper rifle for this one, an assault rifle for the other two. Flustered is just so great sending me all of this stuff to review. I've had a real blast doing it and I'm doing it all in one day. So it's been, it's honestly been a lot of fun um, and I've learned a lot about talking about these customs. I wish I knew a little bit more about exactly what was 3D printed or not, but next time if we ever do this again, I will have all the details. Yeah. I'm really impressed by this squad. It's 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 honestly so gorgeous, like having them all together. I wish I was keeping these, but I'm already keeping a couple of the Flood, which you can check out in a previous video. So I'm good. But still, Johnson, you're looking fantastic there and you have three Marines to have your back. But that's not all we've got today. I'm saving the best to last, but next we've got two more Marines. Now these are definitely Halo Infinite Marines. I can tell you that for a fact, but they seem to have been painted like Halo Reach Marines. And that makes sense because in a previous episode, we looked at all of the concept art Spartans for noble team. Here's one of them, Spartan Cat, looking really fantastic. So it makes sense that there's some Halo Reach Marines and we've got some insane stuff to show off here. These are all 3D printed by LS3D and I really hope to get in touch with him and do some more work in the future because his stuff is exceptional. First of all, we've got a sniper rifle. This is, I believe, like Halo Reach design, right? It looks like it. I'm gonna learn a lot more about his work in the coming months, but the grays, the dark grays, 
these blacks all work really well together. There's a great crosshair there where he can look through his scope and a load of white and red detailings, including this insanely small UNSC painted detail. Like, how do you do that? Like, that's clearly by hand, but it's so good. Some of the paintbrushes he used must be the size of like a single hair. This is one of the best detailed, uh, one of the best painted sniper rifles I've ever seen. But the fun don't stop there. We've got a Reach DMR, which like Mega, you know, Mega does really good molding on their weapons for sure, but they do lack in variety sometimes. Like you'll usually just have one Magnum or one DMR, even though the variations of them, like they look so different between the games. So technically we kind of need variations, but we never really get them. This is exactly what any Reach fanboy or fangirl would love to see, a custom DMR. And there's so much detail here, like this little flashlight on the side or the tiny scope. Like the, the the fact that this is 3D printed and you have all these holes, like how is that possible? I really don't understand. And then it's executely painted, executely, expertly painted. I'm in love. I'm in love with it. This is, ah, uh, this is such a good weapon. This is such a nice looking weapon. And then we have two more for today. Dual wield, combat evolved, kind of reach style magnums. Like I've never seen something more authentically Halo Reach. Like that is so dope. Look at that. Ugh. I'm f look at the detail. These are insane. Like how can someone get that level of detail in 3D printing and then that level of detail with painting? They look exactly like they, well, first of all, they look like a McFarlane weapon, right? Like they definitely look like a McFarlane weapon. The fact that they're smaller than my thumbnail is just, just bizarre to me. All right, so we got a dual wielding pistols here. Look at that. Crazy. That's so awesome. All right, and then I guess this guy can have the sniper. They look great together. He's not a Halo Reach Marine, but he can have a DMR. So you're thinking to yourself, Simon, how can this possibly get any better? I'm looking at like the best little Marine assortment I've ever seen. And yes, Mega, please do make a new Halo Reach Marine. It's about time. But no, we're not done yet. The best till last. Here it is a custom 3D printed ODST from Halo 2. You know me, I'm, I'm getting emotional. I'm so obsessed with ODSTs in Halo. I think they're the best part. And Halo 3 ODST is my favorite game. It's not my favorite completed game, but it's like my favorite like uh, campaign. Oh man, that visor, how do you paint this? Like I swear, if I had 10 attempts at this, if I had 100 attempts at this, I could not do it. That is an exceptionally executed visor. And um, that's not actually the first time I've complimented this. He had another custom visor here, like this CQB and this ODST. I've never seen a better applied, better painted helmet. They're just exceptional, aren't they? They're just exceptional. Jeez, look at the knife on the back, man. Ugh. This is my favorite one. This has to be my favorite one. It's exceptional. It's the best custom I, 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 it's one of the best customs I've ever seen. The way he's got this like metallic sort of, I don't know, like charred metal effect uh, painted on this visor, man. Like I have, I'll come back to the visor every time. It's gorgeous. The silver little details on his clips, on his belt. And then the combat knife on the back, the ammo pouches. This is a flawless figure, flawless figure. Guys, let me know what you think of this military army. <laughs> like. This is so good. We've made so many episodes and we've still got one episode to go of the Flustered and LS 3D series. I've left a pinned comment and description for Flustered MCX and LS 3D printing. Please do make sure to check them out and you can buy things like this ODST on his store. Comes unpainted, mind you, but you can have a good crack at it. The next episode is the one that I've built up to the most. It's the most exciting because it's the elite episode. Bom, 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 bom. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. The UNSC has some extra backup today. Zeta Halo will not fall into the banished hands. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the ODST, one of the best customs I have ever seen in my life, is signing off.